Alright guys, welcome back to All Rap No Cap Rage and YouTube. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So we got Pooh Shasty and we got Kodak Black beefing. Now I'm gonna play these videos and these snippets, and you guys can let me know down in the comments like what do you think about the claims that Kodak Black and Pooh Shasty are basically making. Now you guys let me know down in the comments, but let's get into the video. Uh, oh, he, he now nah, he was on my dog Little Dirt song. He say uh. Some shit posted went on the gram. I invented that. That's some crazy shit like that. Stop playing, little baby. Right, this is this is 2016. Spray game too nasty. Brr. 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 man. Y'all know who the goat is, man. Other, other than that shit. Yes, we been ripping them. Most, most death type shit. What am I supposed to do with these racks blue? Ooh. <laughs> Tight shit, stop playing, man. They go to spray that money on my legs, man. Y'all stop playing. The industry know what's up. The industry know what's up, man. Y'all know, y'all know who paid. Y'all need to go on for, for the way. What I said is 2016. I ain't been in this spraying shit. Brought dick is back, all that shit. Nigga peeling back like this, yo, all that shit. Hey, real, man, we crazy shit, man. Brr, yeah, brr, fuck, nigga. <laughs> and that brr shit really be about like we will rush, we we run over shit. shit. That what that uh, brr shit mean? We run through shit over here. Tight shit, tight shit. Tight shit. Keep that shit cute. Don't make it all that, bro. Keep that shit cute, man. All right, guys. So let's get into this discussion, right? That was the whole back and forth between Pooh Shiesty and Kodak. Now, but let's really get into this discussion, right? Kodak and what he was saying might have not been so off. I feel as if a lot of rappers be biting Kodak style and that's the why like he basically made that video. But at the same time, like bro, you supposed to be a gangster. Like there's no way you supposed to take it to the internet before you approach the man about the whole situation. Like we saw Kodak and Gucci speaking the other day, like Pooh is Gucci's artist. Why in the world? You didn't have a conversation then, right? Then at the same time, you said, like, he's on the song with Dirk. Like, Dirk is your dog. But at the same time, like, you could reach out to Dirk. Hey, like, what's up with buddy? Like, wh why you jocking my style? Whatever, whatever the case may be, right? But, like, that wasn't the case. Like, you went straight to the internet. And I feel like the dudes in the background, like, Kodak is fresh home from jail. But if he keeps friends around, like, the ones he have now... Like, no disrespect to them or whatever, but he probably will be going right back. Why? Because they have him right here, like, starting a beef that doesn't need to be here. This beef does not make any sense. Like, we all know people bite from Kodak, but Pooh Shiesty and this whole thing, like, I highly doubt he stole it from Kodak. But you guys can let me know down in the comments. Like, what do you think? Do you think that Pooh Shiesty bit the whole ad lib from Kodak? Did he bid the whole money spreading thing? I feel like Kodak might have made it hard or whatever. But at the same time, like, it is not like Pusha C ran on the ground, like, and spread the money on his leg and all. Like, if he was doing all of that, then yeah. But at the same like, I don't think so. And then the whole smiling, the th thing with the grills, I feel like, yeah, Kodak made the grills, not the grills, but the, the diamond tea. Like, he made that super popular. But hey, what about Wien? Like, Wien started the whole trend. So I feel like Kodak can just take credit for everything. But you guys can let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. All rap, no cap. Right here on YouTube.